Hey guys, welcome to another video for Beryllium that is the Pocophone F1, the most popular, the most loved phone on this particular channel. So yes, it is a Poco F1, another new ROM that is the Kraken ROM that we are talking about. We're gonna install it real quick. I'll show you how to install it and then we will have a quick look, first impressions and then you can decide should you install it or not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we are about to complete a thousand members. Please join us there and support us and on all other social media as well. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, usual set of disclaimers. You will of course need a Pocophone F1, which has to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. You can use TWRP or Orange Fox, whatever you like. Make sure you have more than 50% battery and make sure that all your data is backed up because the way we install ROMs is the cleanest way of installing ROMs. That means we'll wipe everything, including formatting data to avoid any encryption decryption issues. Make sure you've removed all Google accounts, all your accounts. If you're on MIUI, remove your MI account, remove the lock screen password and everything else. Now, once you've taken care of all of that, let me just show you what are the files that we will need. So if we go to files over here and we go to internal storage, we will need the ROM with GApps, of course. If you're using the vanilla version, you can choose GApps separately. I prefer the Pico version. You will need the firmware file of the latest version of MIUI for POCO F1, that is 12.0.4. You will need DFE to avoid any encryption. You can choose to use it or not. It's completely your call. And if you want root access, you can go ahead and choose to install Majisk as well. Now, once you have all of this ready, what you need to do yes boot into twrp and that is what we will do so restart and press and hold volume up and power release the buttons the moment you see the poco logo all right we are in twrp swipe to allow modifications all right so then we will go to wipe advanced wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data okay now we can begin the installation process to so install first thing that we will flash is the firmware and then add more zips and then the ROM itself add more zips and DFE swipe to confirm flash now remember we are flashing three files together and two of them are heavy one is like 100 mb and the other one is around a gig so it'll take anywhere between two to four minutes so please be patient while that happens once that is done we will quickly boot into the system and we will have a look at how the rom looks how does it feel what are the customizations so let's wait for the flash to complete all right now once everything has been installed just make sure you go through everything again to make sure there are no errors everything good wipe cache in dalvik and reboot system now this is a straightforward install and preview we are not doing any mods or any crazy stuff to make games work better or work great the way i do things is you know two different ways one oh that's a beautiful boot animation there so one you know we go all out with say a rom and then a custom kernel and then different thermals and then we have screen overclock and 90 fps in pubg and this is the second way in which we just install a rom and then show you how the preview is and then we make another video in which we play games on the rom as it is to see how well does it perform so let's wait for this to boot up completely and then we will have a look at this beautiful beautiful rom all right so three minutes later the phone has booted up and we are on the home screen very very smooth very very slick now it is in the light mode so the first thing that we can actually do is go to display and turn on dark mode we will then disable adaptive brightness so that we don't have any fluctuations while shooting so we will go to about android version the security patch is march 5th the latest one google play system update is android 11 or 11 the kernel is perf kernel the build is dated 25th of march so everything fine and dandy over there 
Now, let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the ROM. So, initial impressions is what we are talking about. So, to the left, of course, you have the Google feed. What launcher are we running? We have the sort of a pixel pill at the bottom. If we go to home settings, we don't have any information on what launcher we are using, but we don't have too many applications if you'll see over here. All right, let's actually go to the app drawer. You do have the camera and a few other gallery and play store and all the basic applications. So if you open the camera application, you have a very, very basic, you don't even have the Google camera go application, but uh, the camera does its job just fine. It's working absolutely okay. So no complaints there. And you do have a lot of quick tiles, including screen recording. So you can choose to record both the audios. So let's actually go ahead and enable this and see when we record both internal and external audio. Is there any lag? Okay, started recording. There you go. Works absolutely fine. No problems there. Not used to the pill gestures there. Even in settings, we don't have any problem while recording the screen. So hopefully that is how it will be while, you know, going ahead and recording some gameplay as well. For all the gamers out there, this is a welcome addition to this particular ROM. Now we will go to settings over here, network and internet. All the basic stuff is there. Do they have something called as customization? I don't see any specific setting for customization like you have in a lot of leading custom ROMs, but if we have a look, it says ASP Beryllium, that is the build number. Now, moving on, if we go to Android version, you have the kernel version, build date. So this is a very, very ASP based ROM, very, very minimalistic. Even if we go to network and internet, say you go to Wi-Fi over here, right? You do have Wi-Fi preferences. And then if you go to any network for that matter, you do have the additional Wi-Fi options. Say you go to battery over here, you do have thermal profiles, which is a good thing. So you will be able to extract some better performance at least. And in display, you have live display and all the other amazing basic options. You don't really have a lot of, you know, flare going on there. So all in all, digital well-being and everything else is included. The camera works, the phone boots up just fine. And in this particular update, they have gone ahead and added face unlock as well. Now, you know, this is the initial impression. This is not a complete review. So I will be keeping this phone on this particular ROM at least for a day to see if there are any major bugs. Is Wi-Fi calling working or not? Is this working or not? Carrier video calling is working or not? And last but not the least, I will go ahead and install PUBG Mobile on this and do a gaming review as well. For now, this was the quick install and preview of this particular ROM for the POCO F1. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.